Yo, how's it going everyone? This is Mitchell Mander here, and this was a bit of a surprise this morning when I saw this on Twitter. So yeah, our boy Eternatus is actually back. I was not expecting Eternatus to show up again in Pokemon Journeys, especially this late in the game, since it was sealed away earlier in the series. But here we are. It's back. Also, Sonya's here too. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's uh, quickly talk about this, shall we? Now, as of right now, there isn't any translations for this, and it doesn't seem like we have much information as to why Eternatus is back. So most likely what happened is that they probably ran some tests, Professor Sonya and Professor Magnolia, and they somehow tamed Eternatus and calmed it down. And made it not like a genocidal, like maniac Pokemon that was going to just destroy the Gala region. I'm not really certain. I, I, I kind of want some more context, so we're probably going to have to wait until the episode airs next week. <laughs> Which, I have to say, nobody was looking forward to this episode. Besides me, slightly, just because of uh, Galarian Meowth showing up. But, yeah, this is a clear reason to check out next week's episode. It's almost like, hey, uh, we're, this episode has nothing to do with the Master's Day, but here's Eternatus! You'll definitely check it out now, won't you? Now the question is, is Eternatus going to be part of Leon's team against Ash? Or is Go getting it back for Project Mew? Or is it being utilized for some other reason? Is Chairman Rose back? Has he come back to uh, start some mischief in the Gala region? Or is something else going on related to the Project Mew? I know some people were thinking that the Professor in Project Mew was actually evil or something like that. So, um, are we going to be getting a villain arc? Because there are rumors going around that Pokemon Journeys is actually not going to be ending in November, but it's going to be extended until either the end of the year or early next year with Scarlet and Violet starting in February. Those are just rumors right now, and we don't have any concrete evidence to go off of that, but if there was a way to extend the series and do something else, like a villain arc or something like that, that would be the excuse here, but... Like I said, that's kind of a stretch at the moment until we get like more information as to whether Journeys is going to be ending soon or if it's going to be extended. We'll probably be learning that soon because, uh, yeah, we still haven't gotten a teaser for these Scarlet and Violet anime, so I, I, I do get a feeling that maybe Journeys might be getting stretched out a little bit, but who knows. But that all being said, I do believe that Eternatus is back for a reason. They're not just going to bring him back just to be like, Oh, hey, we tamed him. Goodbye. Nah, he's going to be here to serve some purpose, whether it's Leon somehow utilizing it, which I don't think that's the case since Go caught him. Go using it in Project Mew. And in the very, very unlikely case of Ash using it in his battle against Leon, which um, would definitely cheapen that final battle if uh, that happened. But I do believe that um, Eternatus is here for a reason. Um, if they are extending the series, like I said, maybe he'll be utilized for the ending of the series, and maybe he goes from almost destroying the Gala region to saving the Gala region from something. Who knows? This is a complete stretch once again, but I do believe that Eternatus is back for a specific reason. But I will say this when it comes to Pokemon Journeys. It does excel when it comes to unpredictability, because I did not see this coming from a mile away. I kind of figured that the series would pretty much wrap up within the next, like, two months. And then we get Scarlet and Violet. But, yeah. We, we, we got Eternatus this late in the game. And it definitely piques my interest. I'm definitely curious to see the reason why Eternatus is back. We'll find out when next week's episode airs. But that's all I got for this video. So in the comment section down below, post your thoughts. What do you think about Eternatus coming back? Are you excited? What purpose do you think Eternatus is here for? You got one week to figure it out, so, uh, before we figure it out, so, uh, leave your guesses in the comment section down below, and, um, if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to be streaming Splatoon 3 live tonight, so it should be fun or frustrating, either way. <laughs> I'll see you guys later tonight. Alright, bye everyone.